Hey, good morning, everyone. January 31st, 2022. I'm a little discombobulated here. <laughs> Where does the time go, right? I'm trying to get all set up here. So what do we have going on here? Well, we got people here. John goes, you can be a minute late. I'm like, ah. Well, in fact, I want to show you. This is me getting ready this morning. Let's, I hope I can pull this off because it's, it's, it's great. This, this puts it in a nutshell a few minutes ago. Does that put it in a nutshell right there? <laughs> now I got to get back to my live thing and I don't know how to do it. There we go. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, my daughter sent it to me. And I just, <laughs> can any of you relate to that? <laughs> any of you? <laughs> so good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm looking. Um, I'm looking at the weather on you people on the East Coast and we feel so sorry for you. Yeah, Chrissy, that made me laugh too. I, it's just, ah! <laughs> so, okay, okay. Um, I was going to show it later, but here we are. <laughs> so, here's another thing. Okay, you guys know that uh, Lilo came here and Robin came here and they helped me organize my room. So, I mean, I can put everything at my fingertips and it's absolutely wonderful. Okay. So for those of you who missed it, go back to the beginning and start it over. <laughs> it's a 10 second thing worth every second. So uh, in working on the neutrals quilt, I've, I've had a breakthrough. I'm so excited. I've had a breakthrough. And how I had the breakthrough was I brought my rear end in here and I said, you're going to do nothing else till you have a breakthrough. And you know, isn't that like how it is with quilt making they all have their own personalities and it starts to rear its ugly head and then you got to whip it back in shape so i could not find my bias stems uh, makers um my clover ones i could find my metal ones i couldn't find my karen k buckley i couldn't find my sash well first i just couldn't find my clover ones you know those bias tape makers and I thought, geez, did I throw those away? And then yesterday, which, or give them away, I should say. And then yesterday I was on my walk and I'm like going, wait a minute, I've got that $40 Sasher thing that I love. There's no way I got rid of that. So look what I found. I found the box and I wasn't even looking for the box, but here's the part that'll crack you up. I wasn't even looking for it. <laughs> help me. Help me, help me. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I had a breakthrough and I'm not ready to show it right now because again, it's still forming its personality, but I'm getting pretty excited about the whole thing. Okay. So Carol sent this picture along and it's her avatar and it's butterflies in the brain. Isn't that fun? You guys, um, I just, I love these faces. And I mean, I could get addicted to that and do nothing else, but I got to earn a living, right? <laughs> then Carol, knowing that we're going to do bugs today, a couple bugs, uh, sent this. It's just adorable. Just adorable. Look at that caterpillar on the bottom right. I think that's got the bullion stitch, which I don't know that I have the nerve to try and teach because I'm still trying to master it myself. But, um, so cute. A bugs a mighty, a plenty. And then Noella, I, you know, I just, Noella said in, um, in, on the forum that she's got, she's nowhere near being done. You know, remember Noella was the, is the person that lives in Canada and her kit got hung up at the border. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's a good thing or in customs. I'm not saying that's a good thing, Noella, but it's a good thing because it forced you to make a U-turn and figure out something else to do. So congratulations. Here's a little close-up she sent too. Look at those, the fish with the bubbles. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could say you're done with it today, but keep going. This, this puppy's a beauty. 
And then here is another Robin and she's um, starting in. And I love those, the smack center with those um, wagon wheels. Maybe at some point we'll do that too. So super fun. Okay, this is Suzanne's. Suzanne, you've done this before. <laughs> Just saying. This is not your first rodeo. But this is the kind of thing that I would go to the forum and I would search the pictures under this classroom and really study. There's a lot there. And again, it all goes back to basic stitches. And then look at this one. I just adore it. I, th those, those flowers that are starbursts and that double um, blanket stitch. I mean, it, you must have drawn two circles. I think you did because those are like perfect. Congratulations. Way better than mine. And then also, I think it was you, Suzanne, uh, sent this uh, to me as a source of reference, Sharon Boggan's book. And the funny, I just ordered it um, on Amazon. The funny thing is that this book, and it's by CNT, uh, I actually stumbled on a couple days ago and was considering buying it. So I took it as a message that I needed to get this. And then I found another book that I want to check out and that I ordered too. Uh, it's just horrible. You can, before you're even dressed, you can spend money, right? So, so thank you, Sharon. That was a sign. So here's the deal. I am trying to get a um, kit together for when we go to Hawaii. And thank you. We found someone to stay in the house. Yay. So Sparrow's not going to be super alone. Uh, she will still miss me though. But anyways, um, I've got, this is just a start of my threads. This is a tenth of my threads. But I can't take all of those big spools with me because it's just too space consuming. So I... I don't know where I got the little uh, things, probably like at Joann's or whatever, to wrap around. I started wrapping around, wrapping around, wrapping around. And oh, look at where Lennox, not, yeah, sat at my art desk and wrote, I love you. I put, I put down paper there so that it can be messy and dirty and all that. So, so the other thing is if you go and you rewrap your thread, I wouldn't have done this because it's too smart, but now I did do it. Write down what it is so that if you run out, you can go replace it. So um, it's Finca on the bottom, and then the top is Wonderfill. All I need to see is that WF. And then it was interesting because I was also looking at, uh, I'm wrapping some Beldonis, and even though they all say they're the same weight, they are really quite different, and I find that absolutely fascinating. So let's see. Diane Schwartz, new fabric out called Heavy Metal with circles of metal on it. You can probably embroider on it. It would be different. I'm telling you, you know, this whole embroidery thing is like opening a bucket of a bucket, a can of worms and then trying to herd cats. I mean, there's just so many ways you can go. But then again, isn't that what keeps us motivated and exciting and all that good stuff? Um, from, it, from not getting bored with the sport. Okay, I gotta get, we're gonna do, we're gonna do bugs. And I did two yesterday, super fun. I'll show them to you. And, I, and I'm not doing it quite exactly how the book is telling us to do them. Whoops, what the book is telling us to do. I mean, do whatever you want, but I found a, a better way to do for me. And so let's take a look here. Okay, I got to get this all geared in. and So this was the first bug I made. Super easy, super fun. Here she is right here, little dragonfly. And then I thought, well, I'm going to do this, this bumblebee, and I changed it up a little bit, and it looks like a stretched limo bumblebee. <laughs> I realized what I did wrong, right? So in the book, it directs you to draw some lines, and I would concur with that. So let's start with this guy. He's so cute, all right? I don't, actually, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Let me move this to another spot. But all I know is cuter than anything. 
So using my purple disappearing ink pen, I'm going to try and bring it in a little bit more. Perfect. Right here, it has you draw a long line and then, a, and then for the wings like this. Now, the first time I did this, I drew this way too long, way too long. This is about an inch. Gosh, I don't have a, oh wait, I got a rotary mat right here. No, not even quite an inch. Not even an inch. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Okay. Oh, that's too long. Okay, let me erase it. Now that might be too short. Let me cut one here. Okay, and then the top has this. And the bottom has this. This, and the bottom has this. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit longer. Okay, so the first thing I you do on this is you do the body. And I have some green thread out here for that. Got to make my little knot. I just think this thing is about as cute as it gets. And basically you have a, la a long lazy daisy that is then couched over. Now, I made mine super long here, and I actually couched over four times. I mean, you don't have to do the three. You can do whatever it is to bring that, hold that stitch down. So, let's do our lazy daisy. It's still a little wet from the pen. I, I had no idea I would use that erasy part of the pen so much. But I do. Now I'm going to try and go in not exactly where the knot is on the back. I'm going to come up here. Okay. Note again how I'm holding down that thread. Okay. I love this guy. John asked if I'd actually put this on anything, and I was like, no, not yet. I got thread, thread mess going on here. I'm gonna go to about here, and I'm going to come up in the middle. This one is so stinking easy, and then go back down in the middle. My girlfriend just went to Arizona to that big uh, gem, gem show that's going on right now. By the sounds of it, you could just spend tons of time down there. It's in Tucson area. If you live in that area, lucky you. See how I'm couching it down? Whoops. There went the book. I'll do one more. Okay. There. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to finish it off with a little knot. I like to go through just a speck of fabric and then under the thread. One, two, three. Okay, then I'm going to hopefully find my scissors, which is right here, doy, I'm going to snip. Okay, then, let me, I dropped the book, sorry guys. The next thing we're going to do, if I can find where we were at, lovely. Oh, I should go in the lazy daisy, there we go. And then, here is just two lazy daisies, right? So let's do that, all right, and I'm going to use purple thread, make a zero, this is how I make my knot, come up from the bottom, and I think, I'm not sure if these aren't just a little too big. The great thing is that the pen will disappear. 
the ink will disappear. So don't worry about that. If you decide to, if, if you decide to make, I'm going to make a little bit shorter changes like I just did. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay. Come here. This is very straightforward. The bumblebee, my stretch limo bumblebee, I did it a little differently, a different order than what the book said. Okay. John found a really cute caterpillar too. I try and avoid the bullion knot in all costs. Although you'd think after making 200 of them, I'd be pretty good at it. <laughs> okay. Make sure you're under your camera. I am. Oh, I see. So you wouldn't be saying that to me if I was under the camera. All right. So now what I'm going to do, the eyeballs, I'm going to worry about later because, well, no, maybe I won't worry about them later. Maybe I'll do them now. Okay. Be careful trimming. Let me do, actually, no, let me do, hmm, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do the eyeballs now. And I believe I want it on each side of its little body right there. Oh my God, this thing is so cute. If I don't say so myself, I'll do three wraps. You could do two if you wanted. We love you, little, little dragonfly. You know, you could do this in glow in the dark fat, or glow in the dark thread, and then then you'd have fireflies. Oh, so cute! Okay, I'm gonna go. Here we go. See, it's pretty ugly underneath. Okay. Again, slice. All right. Okay, Sam, you're cute. Now what I want to do is, let's take, where'd that book go? Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is the bumblebee. Now it tells you to do, first you have to draw this, okay? Uh, and it tells you to do the wings first and then the body. I disagree, all right? I disagree. I did it. I would do the body first. Oh, wait, it does tell you to do the body first. It's a berry stitch is what we're going to be doing. And a berry stitch is pretty much um, just a French uh, a lazy daisy one inside the other. All right. But let's see. I can't remember what it says. Let's go to page 60. I love this book. 50. And I can't remember if you do the inside first or the outside first. Um. Uh, okay, you do the inside first. So let's do our little bumblebee body. Here we go. And again, this one is just as stupid as it gets. And you can see I added more stitches to it too. Okay. Oh, mark it. Mark. And then this. I think what I did is I had too, too much space there. Again, I went a little too long. Okay, so let's do the body first. I think I might not have enough thread here. Back. So I'm going to come in. 
I'm going to do a lazy daisy. Okay. I go down the back, down the rabbit hole. Then I'm going to come up right on the behind. Right there, right on the behind. Okay, let me turn it over. Oh, now the next thing it wants you to do, or what I did, was this and this. And it says to just take little straight stitches. I chose to do it a little bit differently. You can take just little straight stitches if you wish. But what I did, let me grab the needle, and look at this. When it gets all twisted up like this, that's not good. I think this is a Valdani thread to unswitch. Okay, sorry guys. All right, settle down, Alex. What I did here for his little antennas is I came over here, I came over here, and then up here, and I'm basically doing a little Y stitch like that, rather than two little single stitches, which you can do. Okay, I just, I, I think I just like that better. So let's do it again. Come up over here. I, I love my technical expressions. Come down in here. I'm not even sure bumblebees have stuff like this, so. But that's just two simple stitches. Okay, whoops, I missed, uh-oh. Look at that, I missed that. So let me do it again to catch it. There we go. Okay. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do when I'm in Hawaii as far as sewing. But you can bet I'm gonna be bringing handwork. All right, there, and now for its wings, it's that same double, double lazy daisy, and those are too long, but look how stupid that is that far apart. I go, oh, it's so cute, and then I went, oh. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to do here. Inside one first. I love that you're all loving this as much as I am. I kind of didn't think I'd get this addicted to it. <laughs> it's a joke. another one oh don't go in the body there see I want it right on its rear the stitches rear end or its pointy end actually I found a really cute Netflix show it's a comedy it's Never Have I Ever, and it's about an um, Indian family. Um, the mother does origi originate from India, but they come over to the United States. Um, the little girl's dad died, and now it's the mother trying to raise the kid in Indian tradition while she's desperately trying to fit in at school. It is funny. There's the inside. Never have I ever. I'm almost near. It's two seasons. I'm almost near the end. And the good news is, is there's going to be another season. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. You know, I don't know what I think about the little feelers on both ends. I think maybe it should just be on the top end. Where's, where's Heidi, my beekeeper? She would tell me. Okay, here's this little one. Heidi Perfetti. Oh, what a great show we had with her. And they do keep bees. Her work is astonishing. Heidi Profetti. I think that's one of the really neat things at thequiltshow.com is all that we're exposed to and people who we might never really get on our radar. Oh, you are so cute. Did you guys talk to your stitches too? <laughs> okay. For the wings. Almost there. And now what it doesn't do in the book is what I did right here. I, I think it needs to have that. I think it needs to have little yellow stripes. One. Put on their little yellow jackets. So just because it says to do it one way in the book doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You can do whatever the heck you want, right? Oh, you're so cute. Okay if I don't say so myself. <laughs> I gotta put some of these in my Sue Spargo uh, piece that's my fountain in the backyard. All right, there you go. <laughs> that one is so weird. <laughs> that was, and that one I missed his size. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, it should have one pointer stinger on the end. That's exactly what's wrong with it. Okay, so what I could do, and I'm not going to do, is do this and then do this. Yes, that's it. That's what's wrong with it. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> Where's the stinger? <laughs> that's funny. So, Okay. Do you want me to show you that thing I showed you in the beginning again for those of you that are late? I just, I got, I got to put that on again because it just, <laughs> it's, here we go. So there we go. <laughs> so anyways, um, we are going to do hearts and buds on Wednesday to get ready for Valentine's Day. All right. And um, <laughs> I hope this leaves you with a, you, the, uh, leaves you with a smile. So, okay, guys, I hope you don't have a day like this. Ah! <laughs> We all know what that feels like. <laughs> Have a great one. And what I'm going to do, I'm really excited. I'm going to do another pre-record with Lilo. You guys keep sending her questions on things that you want solved in your sewing room, like, you know, the box with bias in it. <laughs> and she is putting together a great one for us today. So I'm going to do that. And then uh, I'm going to work more on this neutrals quilt. 
I am getting very excited about it because it really was pulling an attitude on me. Love your laugh. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. Take care. If you have any questions, just email me at um, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-S-N at Gmail. I still do have Bernina coupons to give out, but I have to get it to you before you purchase it. And it's via snail mail. And, and if you're getting one and I have influenced you in purchasing one, I'd be happy to get one to you. But I can't just, you know, say, hey, I heard she does blah, blah, blah. No, it's got to be a thing, you and me. So, okay, have a great one. We will see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.